This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride. I'm James Beastie, and this is a new buddy of mine, the GNU Banked Country. Next to it is the LibTech BRD, the Yes Pick Your Line, and the Rosy XV. Just thought it would be fun to compare this against some of my favorites while we primarily talk about the Banked Country. I rode this with my Burton Kendos this summer, then my Burton Tourist this winter, got it primarily with my Union Atlas, and I had it in some really fun but ugly looking conditions at Mount Hood. And there I felt this instant connection to this board. It reminded me of many boards from GNU in the past that I loved and knew really well and spent a lot of time on. But then the season started at Mount Bachelor and I got this in some powder on a dark and stormy morning before sunrise and got to ride it in some powder and even a little bit of groomer turning. So I got both extremes, ugly summer and amazing dark and stormy winter. And to give you a short summary, the GNU Molaire is gone. It was called Essential Services last year, but was pretty much the same board. Now this year, the Essential Services is a hybrid rocker twin, uh, matches up much better with how they're marketing it. So something kind of needed to fill the Billy Goat, which is I think is gone this year, and the Molaire. And this is kind of like a combination of those two. Just a really fun, tapered directional, traditional free ride, full camber ride that just has amazing pop and spring out of the turn, a very dynamic flex underfoot, pretty good edge hold, but not grabby and hard snow. Just a dynamic, turning, directional ride. But all in all, if you just want a tapered, directional, traditional free ride board, this just excels, and it's one of my favorite boards to go out and carve with. It's right up there with the GNU Gremlin, but just in a different shape and length. Now, when it comes to sizing, this 59 fit me perfect, felt just like the BRD 59, the Yes Pick Your Line 59, and the Rosy XV 163 next to it. They all just work really well with my size nine boots. It really handles my 180 to 195 pounds. You know, it really depends on how much of my kids' food I'm eating, but you know, handled the highest and the lowest really well. Now, when it comes to the shape, this is tapered and directional. Not quite as tapered and directional as the LibTech BRD, but a little more so than the Yes Pick Your Line, or at least feels that way. And um, about the same as the XV, just kind of moderate taper and a good setback to where you, you feel the tapered directional shape, likes a little more back foot weight than front foot. And the camber profile, they're just, they're not messing around here. This is full camber. Um, I can't even see a touch of early rise. It just, feels like an old school camber free ride board, which is fun if you're on your game and you like technical turning and you're a good rider, but it can really suck if you get off your game and it's the most catchy and unforgiving out of all these boards. If you are in a mellow mood, you want the BRD, you want the pick your line, and to a lesser extent, the XV. It's a little catchy for how much rocker it has in the tip and tail, but still, all of these are like stable and moderately to pretty forgiving. This is just locked in and gnarly, but just so dynamic and it tracks so well one footing and flat basing. Definitely advanced expert riders only. Now let's talk flex here. You can see it's kind of medium stiff. It's not as stiff as I thought it would be when I looked at it on paper or online. The nose is, you know, kind of a little stiffer than the tail, but not much. Gotta wax that. The tail's stiffer, but this pop, for some reason, is somewhat easily accessible. It's definitely more work than the BRD, the Pick Your Line, and to a lesser extent, the XV, but it gives so much more back when you, when you give to it. I just loved how this aired over everything and it just helped me make a better Ollie and I'm 
not that good at all in, so I just don't have a lot of upward spring. This does, so it makes me look just a little bit better. Not really an easy board to butter. I could butter easier on the Bird, the Pick Your Line, and the XV. Now, when it comes to speed, the base isn't that fast. It doesn't have that amazing glide, but it's definitely above average, but it's not like up there with the ultra glidey bases. So it's not gonna have that magical glide, but it's about right there with the BRD and the Pick Your Line's a little bit better. Uh, I think it's my favorite of the three. And the XV is about there with these guys, but these boards do pretty good when they're not just like freshly waxed, um, getting to the point where they need to be waxed. They keep their speed pretty well. So they don't have low lows, but they don't have high highs. In terms of dampness, other than the XV, this was my favorite board for pointing it. I'm not much of a pointer. I just like to always be turning, always be in control, but I could see how you could get some some really good, not amazing, but some really good speed with this and you could point it. The Pick Your Line and BRD are close, but this is just a, just maybe a touch better. Maybe it's that full camber. Just makes it feel a little more stable, a little more shock absorbent at higher speeds. When it comes to uneven terrain, this more traditional shape, while it's longer, the narrower waist and the side cut just worked really well at weaving in and out of bumps. It wasn't a, the best I've ever tried, but it could handle all day resort riding really well. My favorite is the Yes Pick Your Line that just has a little bit of this rubbery feel. It's still stiff, but it just can handle uneven snow really well. The BRD is right there with it, just a little more forgiving. The XV is a little longer, but it's still very doable turning through messy, uneven snow, and it's really good going over it. It's got a lot of dampness, and it's probably like my favorite at high speed and good in uneven terrain. When it comes to edge hold, it's all about the XV first. The pick your line and the banked country are pretty close. And the BRD, although no slouch, is just a little bit less. I just felt a little less grip with this, but all three of these guys are good in hard bordering on icy snow. They have good grip as long as you just keep that back foot weight there. And speaking of back footed rides, Let's talk about turn initiation. This is just super fast edge to edge. If you know how to turn right, the camber just pops quickly edge to edge. It's a fun board to jump turn. It's like a longer version of the Gremlin. It's just got this just pop and, and just fun out of each turn. And it's also super quick edge to edge. If you like to get into billy goat situations or hit some tight trees, this is gonna do great. All of these boards are great at that though. So I don't know, it's hard to even say which one's a winner there because I've just had such a great time with all of them in tight spots. But when it comes to the turning experience, this has a fun side cut that's kind of more on the balance side, but I could circle carve with it. I could make long drawn out S turns. I really love just, just doing kind of medium radius turns with this and even just kind of going fast like this edge to edge, just kind of popping back and forth. Just a really balanced, fun, energetic, poppy ride when it comes to turns and it just carves like a champ. Out of all these boards, this was my favorite. If I wanna go out and just lay out some hard carves, this is the board I want. The XV would be second for that. And then the BRD and Pick Your Line are kind of like tied for third. Uh, they, they're, they're all really fun to carve. They're all dynamic carvers, but this is just exceptional. So with the GNU Banked Country at a 22.75 inch stance width set all the way back, you get 2.75 inches back from center of board, which is good, but not a lot. It rides a lot more centered on board than a lot of other free ride boards but it's not totally centered, but it, it definitely rides a little more centered. And it that really surprised me at how well it did as a camber board for floating in powder. I got this in some pretty deep powder, probably thigh high, and I tested it against the Libtech Dynamo. And also in days before this and after this, I tested it with some legit powder friendly boards. And I was pretty impressed overall at how well a 
pretty much full camber ride did. And it kind of reminded me how the Billy Goat and other Cummins boards did in the past that were full camber back in the day. You would think they wouldn't be that good and then they did better than you thought they would. So pretty cool. I still don't feel like it's on par with the Yes Pick Your Line. I think that was a little better. It just has that early rise and that shape makes it a little more floaty even though it has a little less directional setback on board. It's not quite there with the XV. That's just a whole other ride. It's a lot more floaty, a lot bigger, longer. And the BRD is definitely more of a backseat floaty ride with more early rise. All these boards still do better than the Banked Country, but it did better than I thought. It did better than the Dynamo. And it does really well for a full camber board, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of steep terrain powder riding. It's going to be really fun and it's going to do well for full camber. Overall, I think this is a really fun ride for that advanced to expert rider who wants that full camber spring and drive out of your turn. And it's more versatile than you would think for having this much camber in this time and age where everything has a little bit of early rise. This just really brings back a lot of good memories from the O's, from some of the best boards in the O's when everything was full camber. So if that appeals to you, you're gonna love this. This is a board I'm keeping and I'm gonna be riding all season because it's just a lot of fun. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the Contact Us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.